multiplying decimals. The key to multiplying decimals is knowing your basic math facts, multiplying single digits, and keeping your column straight. Wait a minute, this all sounds a little familiar. Oh, that's right, it's the same as multiplying natural numbers. That may be numbers without decimals. The only difference is counting the total number of digits to the right of the decimal points. That's the new thing. Here's an example. 52.8 multiplied by 2.07. So we write it out. Now, unlike adding and subtracting, you do not line up the decimal points. Okay? You do not line up the decimal points when multiplying decimals. We're going to pretend that the decimal points are not there. First, we're going to multiply by the 7. 7 times the 8 gives us 56. So we put the 6 underneath the 7 and carry the 5. 7 times the 2 gives us 14, plus the 5 gives us 19. So we put the 9 in the next column, and we carry the 1. 7 times 5 is 35, plus the 1 gives us 36. So we put the 36 starting in the next column to the left. We're going to, now we're going to move to the zero and begin because zero is in the tens position. I'm going to put a placeholder in the ones position. Eight times zero is zero, so I put a zero. Zero times two is zero, so I put a zero. Zero times five is zero. So I put a zero. That was an easy row. Okay, now you move over to the two. Again, now the two is in the hundreds position, so I'm going to put placeholders in the ones and tens columns. Two times eight is 16. Write the six, carry the one. Two times four. 2 times 2 is 4, plus the 1 is 5, so I put down the 5. And then 2 times 5 is 10, so I write down the 10. And now we get to add. Sometimes it helps to line these up. People use uh, lined paper and they just turn it sideways and use the lined paper as their columns. Or if you write really neat, you probably don't need to do that. But really, columns is the key. So the placeholders go away. 6 comes down. 9 plus 0 is 9, 6 plus 6 is 12, but then the 2 carry the 1, 5 plus 3 plus the 1 gives us 9, 0 comes down, the 1 comes down. So we've done the hard work. Now we're going to put the decimal points back in. And we count the number of digits to the right of a decimal point. The 8, the 0, and the 7 are to the right of a decimal point. So I count three digits to the right of a decimal point. Now we make sure that we move the decimal point three spaces to the left in our number. So it's currently at the far right-hand side after the, to the right of the 6. So we move it one, two, three spaces to the left. And that's where the decimal point goes. And therefore, we have our answer. 109.296.